Okay, peeps, you own a house. You want to buy a new one for sure, but you can't get over the fact that you currently have a 3% interest rate on your primary, and you know the next one's probably going to be about 7%. I have an easy hack, an easy solution. Let's talk about it and go through it. First things first, you're going to get a HELOC, home equity line of credit, on your current primary. We're going to say in this example that the house is worth $500,000, and you only owe three hundred. dollars gives you two hundred dollars of equity. You're going to approach your local credit union or small bank because they're probably going to give you the best interest rate on this for a HELOC, and they're going to give you up to 90% of your home's value, which would be 450K. 450K minus the mortgage you already have of $300,000 gives you a $150,000 line of credit. Now you're going to prep your current primary and you're going to get it rented out. All right. I know that my current primary in this example costs $1,265 a month to own. That's 300K at 3%. Plus my new HELOC or 150K at 7% is a grand a month. These are real figures. I actually just looked them up on a mortgage calculator. So this cur this original home, my current primary, Worth 500K only cost me 2265 a month to own. Amazing. I'm gonna rent the house out at 2300 bucks per month. That's going to remove it from my debt to income, right? Because the house is making as much or more than it costs, which nets it out. Now I'm freed up and I can get approved or pre-approved for the next purchase. Right. Now I'm gonna go take that $150,000 line of credit and I'm gonna use it as the down payment and closing costs for my new house. Okay, that's gonna cover everything. Down payment, closing costs, you're in. There you go, okay? Now, why would I do this? Why do I wanna keep both homes? It's incredibly important. I want to own real estate and as much of it as possible for as long as possible. So why is that? Tax benefits, see your CPA for the specifics. Potential cash flow, if I rent out this current primary, the original home for more than $2,265 a month, I am making cash flow and I can use that cash flow. So my first house can basically contribute towards the purchase or the monthly payments on my second home. And that's awesome. Potential appreciation. We know if we own a house long enough, it's probably going to be worth more than we originally bought it. Principal pay down. Whoever's renting out my first house is literally paying the mortgage for me. Next, inflation. When I originally took out a loan, a dollar is worth X. Let's say a dollar is worth a dollar when I take out the original loan. And now supposedly inflation's at 3%. So my dollar is worth 97 cents. So I get to take my dollar that's only worth 97 cents now and I get to pay off a loan, which they originally gave me when the dollar is worth a dollar. That may be an abstract idea for some, but it's important. And then the last thing is I get to keep this really cheap loan on my first property. I'm not gonna be paying down the note faster because I'm still on a 30-year note on the original property. I am paying significantly less across that 30-year time span to own the original primary than I would on the next house at 7%. So anyways, this should solve everything for you. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments and please follow along for more.